inspire. Okay, my name is Yigeshin Gabanda, I'm 17 years old. My perspective on xenophobia and racism. Xenophobia is like when uh, the irrational fear and hatred and uh, suspicion against foreigners people from other countries. And racism is when, uh, when you are discriminated against your race and when one feels that his race is superior to another. So this is the difference between xenophobia and racism. I personally feel that xenophobia uh, is not, and racism is not a South African problem, it's a global problem. As for example, we could see by the refugees in Syria and Donald Trump with the wall and the Mexicans and the Muslims. So it's not a South African problem. But we should all work as South Africans to move forward. We should, I dream for Africa to be a better nation. We should all stand up together and build a better continent, build our economy and stand up for each other. It's we not a good thing because our country, we want to be a rainbow country. So um, this includes foreigners and our people and we can't achieve that if uh, xenophobia and racism is still a fair thing. I think there are people who have been killed from xenophobia and we, can, we must not fight and kill each other. It's not a right thing to take something from someone, to take someone's life from um, For me xenophobia is extremely unfair because it shows just how inhumane we can really be among to foreign people because we are all equal yet we think that foreigners would like to steal jobs and would like to take over but in fact they come from deprived nations and countries and they would just like to get a head start in life so in a way we are being completely barbaric um, and for me racism is also really wrong because we were all created equal in God's eye and I don't believe that one person should be treated differently from another just because of the colour of their skin. When I think of people that are that against people that are that xenophobic and racism is, I think they are greedy because they see people differently because of race or because they are from a different country. But I've, I feel people should look at everyone the same even though we are the same country because it's a newer if someone tries to find someone or tells them that um, they're racist and all this stuff, they should be punished or something. I believe that xenophobia is a bad thing because it can ruin people's lives and it can affect the country's economy um, due to the fact that people with essential skills are too afraid to come to the country in fear of getting attacked by other Africans. And also due to the fact that people from foreign countries might retaliate against South African owned companies within their countries. Racism, I believe, is not as much in this day and age, but it's may be, still be there, but it's much more better. So now, racism is a very bad thing. And lots of people use it to hide behind their issues, which is not a good thing. Now luckily, our youth is positive towards each other. Now xenophobia is a fear of foreigners. Now I don't believe South Africa should be afraid of foreigners. We should learn how to work together and we should um, care about each other. And respect what we in our country is very bad and it actually should be stopped because innocent people are getting hurt and if you are from another country it doesn't mean that you are doing illegal things or you are bad and because you are from South Africa it doesn't necessarily mean you are innocent in what in this doing is something innocent. of the fact which we should all try and move past even though it exists in most of our older people because if you look around at us younger people you find so many people of different races mingling, mixed race couples, so many people actually like mixing between each other that we should try and look past racism. Sometimes it's as if the, our parents or the older generation tries to force racism down on us when 
something will move on with. Xenophobia in my view is also wrong. I understand if somebody is angry that a foreign people, a foreign person would take your job, but if you're not willing to stand up and go look for a job, then why not give it to the foreign person? This earth belongs to all of us and we should not feel as if it's only us that deserve something. Foreign people actually, most of them who come here are working and trying to make a living for themselves in different situations back in their old countries. And I just feel that xenophobia should stop and we should give foreign people a fair chance to earn a living and just make something of themselves. Me, I feel as if, let me first start off with, like we've come a long way as a nation from how things were. 20 years or 25 years ago because when I talk to my parents, their situation back then to what I experience now is completely different. So there might be a few people who still practice that, but I think we headed in the right direction. So for the few who still practice it well, I think that they should just stop living in the past and just move on with life. And with xenophobia, well, I feel that that's just a cowardly way of dealing with things because um, I don't know if I can give this example, but if there's a shop, um, I, if I open or if someone opens a muffin shop and then comes, here comes Sam and opens a muffin shop, a similar shop right next door. Well, if Sam is a foreign national, then the immediate response that a normal person or like what South Africans do is they try to attack that person and become violent and burn down the shop. and just try to eliminate him and that's just a cowardly way of dealing with things because once you resort to violence, you're a coward. And let's say maybe if Sam was uh, a South African, obviously you wouldn't attack that person because you know that he'll fight back. So instead of what you did to a foreigner, you now what you do is you humble yourself and you walk away. But that's also being a coward because you don't walk away from a challenge. Instead, so what I think is that before we judge people or do all these nasty things, you should do a bit of introspection and just ask yourself, um, what can I do to make myself a better person? Or what can I do to make my business better than Sam's business? And once you start thinking like that, then you might like expand your business by introducing a, a new product range and attracting new customers and now your business will thrive because of all thanks to who to Sam who opened his muffin um, business right next to yours. So instead of judging or like discriminating and saying all these bad things and resorting to violence, rather embrace our fellow brothers and sisters because they make us better people. Because now you're a better businessman, you're a better person, all thanks to him. He was a challenge. So stop seeing it as a, as a matter of booty. Um, he's here and he's taking my business. Rather use that as okay. He's here now. What do I do to become better and attract more customers? So embrace the, the people of different like great nations and all of that because I honestly feel as if they just they make us a play. They make us because anyone can agree with me when I say that they've been helped somehow in some way in their lives by someone from a different country. I have numerous times I've got friends from different nations and. They benefit my life in many ways. So we should stop being lazy and negative and being, stop being cowards and just accept them and embrace them. This is